It's a Mustang. It's a Squire. It's a Bullet Mustang with double humbuckers, HH in black, and I love it. Um, I grew up in the 90s playing guitar, and my first ever guitar hero was Kurt Cobain. And yes, he's not famed for being the most wonderful guitar player, but he played the shorter scale sort of guitars, the Mustangs and the Jaguars. And he even had the Jaguar and the Mustang put together to make the Jagstang. And I've always wanted one of those and never found one that I liked because of the bridge and the, the tuning stability. But now I have a Mustang and it sounds like this. This thing doesn't just play Nirvana. You can probably tell by now that I have fallen absolutely, deeply, wildly, madly in love with this guitar and it costs $150, £140, €135. Euros. It is nothing. It is everything. Look at it. I mean, it's so black. How much more black can it get? None more black. Let's go over some details. It's got a basswood body. It's got a maple neck with a rosewood fretboard. It's got square tuners and a plastic nut and a standard hardtail bridge with your folded vintage style saddles. Uh, authentic looking plate here with your tone and volume. Three-way switch for bridge both, uh, bridge both and neck. Um, on the back, it's got a square uh, plate just there. And it, uh, it says Mustang, and that's very, very cool. The bad points are not much, but it's, it's come pretty well set up. The intonation is 
not far off, but it's not in. And you might be able to hear that in some of the gear demos because this is straight out of the box. Um, the neck on this is a satin finish and it's better than the Affinity Strats that I, I demoed a few weeks ago and the, what are they called, the Candy uh, Sparkle things. Uh, they're fun guitars, but the necks on those, and I found the attention to detail was quite uh, rushed on that. And on this, although it's not had the best setup in the world, it feels a lot better. I've got a Tele, a Strat, and now I have a Mustang. And the Tele's are famous for that twang sound. A Strat is a, a spanky sound. And a Mustang is meaty and thumpy. And the strings, these are nines on there at the moment, and they're really into bending. One of the bad sides of the setup is the, the frets need polishing quite badly. They're quite scratchy. Uh, plastic nut, never a fan of it because the strings click in there. The tuners are actually okay, not great. Uh, I think they might be the same, but they feel better than the ones on the Affinity Strat that I was playing a few weeks ago. Uh, I wouldn't change the bridge. Looks cool, looks fun, plays well. The neck is nowhere near as bad as the Affinity Strats that I've been playing recently. Um, the Affinity Strats had still whiskers of wood coming off them. This one, with playing, it would, would settle down a little bit. But I'm going to run a bit of sandpaper over there and oil this bad boy up. The guitar is so light and so playable and so much fun. Um, I can't get over how much I like this guitar. It was so cheap. And yet, this is the most fun I've had with a guitar. Uh, since as far as I can remember. Probably since I bought the SG. But yeah, this is the Squire Mustang Bullet guitar, available in this black and a blue colour, and I think for the price that they're selling it, €139 Euros or in that, in that range, under $150 for sure. What an amazing guitar.